We now know just here in North America, there was a culture. We could not ascribe to them advanced civilization, but there was a culture called the Clovis culture that existed for three to 400 years, right up until the lower Younger Dryas boundary. And that culture appears to have gone as extinct as the woolly mammoths. Coming back to the megafauna and trying to get a better picture of this world that preceded our own, one of the paleontologists that really uh, immersed himself into understanding this phenomena of the, the great megafauna and their disappearance from Earth was Anthony J. Stewart. He wrote a paper that was appeared in the journal uh, Biology Review, and the paper was entitled Mammalian Extinctions in the Late Pleistocene of Northern Eurasia and North America. And I'm quoting now. In the very recent geological past, shortly before the end of the Pleistocene period, or about 10,000 radiocarbon years before present, now this has been uh, recalibrated. It is now closer to 12,000 years. In fact, the now geological definition of the, the, the precise transition from Pleistocene to Holocene is dated right at 11,600 years.